up, gentlemen? So we talk a lot about the importance of making an incredible first impression. Because in the first three seconds when somebody meets you, they are forming opinions about you based solely on the nonverbal communicating that you're doing. If that first impression is good, everything is great. You're going to have more opportunities, whether or not it's career, professionally, or even relationships. But on the flip side, if that first impression is bad, you may never get the opportunity, or you're going to have to work extra hard in order to prove that you're the man for the job, or you're the man that that spicy senorita should be dating. But check it out, it's not just when somebody meets you in person that they're forming these opinions, it's also when somebody sees you in pictures. And with all the pictures being taken on a daily basis, I thought today we would go over a few ways to always look confident in every picture. Speaking of impressions, what's your impression of this new Henley that I got? It's from Cuts, today's video is sponsored. I'll tell you a little bit more about them a little bit later, but honestly, it is sheer perfection. It's from the new fall collection. They just dropped four incredibly badass colors. The color is Pacific Blue and it is so sexy. Anyway guys, tell you a little bit more about Cuts later, but just to let you know, there is a discount link down below. That new fall collection is insane. They are definitely going to sell out, so if you see anything that you like, you better grab. Alright guys, so the first tip I'd like to give you in terms of looking confident in pictures is always look and make eye contact, right? It's very similar to when you meet somebody. If you're looking down or you're looking over somewhere else or you're not making eye contact, it is making you look weak. It's making you look a little bit sneaky. Same thing goes for pictures. Guys, you got to make sure that when you are taking a picture, whether or not it's selfie or in a group, that you find the lens. Where are we looking? That is the question you need to start asking every time you take a picture with somebody else's phone or camera. You just got to know where you're looking. Here's a great example of the other day. I was out. I met one of our friends. I was like, yo, let's get a picture. I was taking the picture with my camera. He didn't know where to look. And so look, it doesn't look normal. It doesn't look natural. And he definitely doesn't look confident. The second picture taking tip is all about looking confident without looking cocky, right? Because everybody knows, yeah, yeah, you look cocky, right? No, 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 no. Confident, gentlemen. It's all about that chin, right? So we've talked about not putting the chin down. You got to get that camera up. You got to get the chin up, but not too high. Check it out. When your chin is too high, it makes you automatically look egotistical and a little bit arrogant. But on the flip side, if you just drop that chin about an inch, you look a lot more natural, a lot more confident, and less cocky. It's a slight subtle difference, but it makes a big difference in terms of the way that you are perceived, right? Not up here, right here, all right? Now let's talk a little bit about smiles, all right? Because that's another thing. If you are not smiling, this makes you look like you're no fun. It also makes you look like you got to stick up your butt. But if you're smiling all big and cheesy, it makes you look goofy and people aren't going to take you seriously. And if you're making a stupid face, like a lot of people are like, yeah, yeah, right, right? That just makes you look dumb. Yeah, right, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Not awesome. Because the truth is, when you make the crazy, weird, goofy face, everybody knows the dude who always makes the goofy face. It makes you look like actually it makes you look dumb. Since we're talking about smile, one of the things that I got to talk about is the smile trick because if you want to look the best that you possibly can in every picture, you got to make sure that you are pressing your tongue against the back of your teeth. The reason is because when you focus on pressing your tongue against the back of your teeth, you're actually allowing your facial muscles to relax. Relax and you're releasing. Everything up here is settling down because if you don't, right, a lot of times we get crunchy, wrinkly, squinty, and not super sexy. Speaking of sexy, now let's talk about your style because unfortunately your style is what makes a lot of people lose respect for you also makes you look less confident all right the first tip I'd like to give you is don't wear big and baggy clothes you guys have probably heard the saying a camera adds 10 pounds well so does your phone when you're taking a picture and so if you are wearing a big baggy shirt it's gonna make you look 30 pounds chunkier now something else I want to talk about is color and pattern all right if you are wearing something that is big that is bright that is bold, it's also going to make you look larger. And so what I recommend is wear more muted colors. Solids always are going to make you look more muscular, more attractive than patterns. Patterns are a little bit tricky, especially if they're horizontal. Once again, it's going to make you look wider. Vertical stripes also are not super good. In my opinion, guys, if you want to look the best, most confident you can, look for shirts that are solid, that are muted, and that fit you. Speaking of fit, look at this t-shirt, right? Same color, Pacific blue. I love 
love this color. The other thing about blue, guys, it makes you look more approachable. Blue is an amazing color if you want to be perceived as more likable, more friendly, and more outgoing, honestly. Anyway, I love this color. And the neck, I went with a V-neck, but notice the V-neck. It's not like super deep. It's absolute perfection. But you could also go Henley. You could also go Crew. And then the bottom, guys, the hem, this is a curved hem, all right? You could also go split. You could also go elongated. Truth is, guys, if you look amazing in your clothing, you're going to look better. You're going to look more incredible. You're going to look more confident in your pictures, all right? Now, you want to see a few other badass colors from Cuts? Here's like a blue-gray called Stratus. The color is absolutely amazing. Here's the same color in a long-sleeve lightweight hoodie, which is absolute perfection. Coast. The color is Coast, right? Long sleeve, lightweight hoodie, guys. This is insane. But once again, all of these shirts that I'm showing you come in a ton of different colors. But you got to hit that link and act fast because the new fall collection is going to sell out. Now they do have the classic cuts colors, which you guys are absolutely going to love. You can never go wrong with white, with black, with gray. But they also have another color recently that they launched called Mulberry. It's sort of like a soft pinky like rose that I absolutely think is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Huts is killing it on a different level in terms of their t-shirts, their Henleys, their short sleeve Henleys, their long sleeve tees, their lightweight hoodies, their regular weight hoodies. And for you guys out there that like polos, guess who has polos now? Gentlemen, look at that. Look at that. Look at that fit, right? Pacific blue, the color. I went with the polo shirt. Sleeve length, perfect body, perfect hem. A little bit of curved action to give it a little attitude, a little edge. Guys, hit the link down below. Go check out the New Cuts collection. There is a discount code to save you some cash on some incredible clothes that are going to make you look sexy, but they're also going to make you look confident in pics. All right, so the next thing we got to talk about is your body language or posture in pictures, all right? So the first thing I want to talk about is your chest and your shoulders, all right? Just like when you're walking, you want to make sure that your chest is up, your shoulders are back, but not too like up and back or else you're going to look a little bit exaggerated and weird. Instead of here, it's here. It's a slight difference that makes a big difference when it comes to the way that you are perceived. The other thing I want you to do, instead of facing the camera straight on, I want you to angle slightly, turn your face towards the camera. Never square, always angled slightly, all right? Your feet are slightly angled, your chest is up, your shoulders are back, angled slightly, and your face is looking towards the camera. Now, another pro tip I'd like to give you. Most people have a better side when it comes to their face, all right? For me, this is my better side. I look better and more handsome and more confident when I show this side as opposed to this side. Find your better side, angle it towards the camera. Now let's talk about those hands because the hands are a lot of times what get people in trouble, all right? So the one thing I don't want you to do, gentlemen, is cross your arms. Even if you're smiling and you're crossing your arms, you don't look as approachable or as friendly as somebody that has open body language. And so what I'd recommend, guys, if you are taking a picture by yourself and you want to do something with your hands, Hands, you could always put them in your front pocket, all right? Not down like in them. Let your thumbs sort of hang out. You don't want to jam your hands like down in your pockets because when you do that, look what happens to my chest and my shoulders, right? It rolls forward. And so bring in here, hands slightly in the pockets. If you want to actually let one dangle, that's fine. Now, if you have something to actually hold, this also is fine. And so one hand in the pocket, one hand holding, confidently smiling, chest up, shoulders back, jamming your tongue against the back of your teeth. What exactly? You're looking killer. You're looking confident. All right. So now let's talk a little bit about where to stand in a lineup. All right. If you want to look as confident as possible, what I'd recommend is boom, grab the center and then the other people will fill in around you. All right. But try to go for that center. If you want to look the most confident and also kind of like the center of attention, you also look very liked, right? Because if you're in the center and you've got people around you, this is sending a subliminal message that you are well respected you're also likable if you're taking a picture with somebody who is taller than you what I'd recommend is you go low like around their waist and allow them to kind of go high if you try to go high it's going to distort your body it's also not going to make you look as good as possible all right it's all about trying to maintain that body position and posture if somebody's the same size as you you could go around each other's back on each other's shoulder or put your hand on their back now what do you do with that other hand do you pull do you thumbs up? Do you wave? What do you do? In my opinion, the best, most confident look is letting it dangle, right? If you're comfortable with that or in a pocket, not too deep, right? You got to make sure chest, shoulders, back. One, two, three, boom. 
Somebody has just formed an opinion or made assumptions about you based solely on the nonverbal communicating that you're doing. But guess what? A picture, it's even faster. You can't afford to not be on your game 100% of the time, gentlemen. If you implement these tips, not only are you going to look incredible, you're going to look super confident in every picture you take.